Howdy folks, TJ here. I've got a new package that arrived today. It's a little late. It was supposed to have come with my Spectrum Plus. And I'm going to do something a little different today. I have actually, uh, my cats are uh, prowling around. I've got three house cats and I've got a dog. Just put the dog out in her pen. Cats wandered down from upstairs, so I let them roam around. So you might see a cat wander through every so often, getting into mischief. Or I may trip over the cat and endo and you know, get a good laugh out of it. But today, from UK, this is the second computer I purchased there. I bought it all from the same eBay seller. And this one also basically kind of comes somewhat refurbed or went through new membrane on the keyboard. Things like that to kind of, uh, you know, make sure it's going to work for me well. And um, pretty cool. The neat thing about a lot of the computers from the UK and Europe, they have really cool, you know, like department stores. Curry's, I guess, is probably a, an electronics type of store over in UK. And I don't recall ever seeing special editions of like Amigas or Ataris that were from a particular uh, store and they had it branded like this where it's their names plastered on the actual box. So the boxes are really cool. Uh, anyway, this is a Spectrum uh, 128 plus 3. And uh, so to my knowledge, the last of the uh, Spectrums that came out uh, with Amstrad ownership, the plus 3 was the last one. I know there's, uh, uh, you know, maybe there's something else in there that I'm unaware of, but to my knowledge, Plus 3 was the last of the uh, Spectrums before they stopped making them. And so I'm going to show off what I received today. And let me adjust the video so I can get it all in there. That should work. Also got some cool magazines I'll enjoy. I, I love reading old magazines, but the computer course. Got a couple of these, and I already kind of quickly went through. I think there's a big story or a big advertisement from Sinclair about the Spectrum on there, so that's really cool. So anyway, I've got some reading material that I can fold under my arm when I go to the bathroom. <laughs> Put those aside here. And let's open up this bad boy. So here's the box, Curry's. Again, I kind of did a quick Google, I think, the other day. And they're a, a department store over in uh, UK, or I think like an electronic specialty store. And so this is this Sinclair ZX Spectrum 128 Plus 3. And um, I don't think I got all the software and stuff or a little bit of a different mix on the one that I got. But anyway, there's the front. And this box has got a little weight to it. And here's one of the sides. This looks to be pretty much identical on this side. And then it's all basically the same. Well, with the exception of this has got this live ammo free information. Anyway, kind of cool. It's a really sweet looking box. Let's see if I can open this up without damaging the box. It's already got you know some life to it, but I want to kind of keep it as protected as I can. I'm going to step out down here. There we go. So I'll start sliding some things out of here. <coughs> First Sinclair joystick, sweet. And I'll open up this stuff later when I connect up the computer. For now, I'll just do a quick unboxing. This seller uh, sent it with a nice SCART cable, uh, and I've got that RG, or I mean, I should say, a SCART to HDMI adapter that the Plus or um, my Omni works very well from. So hopefully. This will work fine. Uh, my 128 that I haven't done a video on yet didn't work on that. So um, we'll have to see if I can get it to work. I do have a, a ZX HD from Byte Delight that's coming. So ultimately if I have to use that, then so be it. So casualty number one looks like my Tetris box is busted. So in shipping, this package took about month to get here and it was kind of dragged behind so there's casualty number one that kind of sucks I kind of like to have things that are not busted but as long as I guess 
the disc because that's the one and only that I received with this actually work. So there's Tetris and I'll have to let the seller know that it came busted up. Not like I'm expecting anything, but it'd be cool if he gave me a couple bucks back or so. He gave me a good deal, so I'm not going to complain. So, Tetris. I have to keep that disc protected. Now let's see if I can slide it out. Again, I'm trying to protect the box as best as I can. Nothing else in there. That's empty. So I'll set this back here. Right way up so you can keep seeing it in case it's in the video. So here's the box itself for the ZX Spectrum. <coughs> Excuse me, I, I've got allergies so I'm hacking here. So the box has got a little beat up to it on this side. I saw that in the pictures on eBay. This side looked a lot nicer though. And uh, so that's the box. So, sticking with their, they got these nice uh, buns, and it says Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus 3. Put aside this. So, this seller again, um, they looked really clean in the pictures. And so, I'll do kind of a quick look as I'm unboxing it here. Little fuzz there or something. And hopefully I'm not in the camera way there. So there's the top side. Bottom side. And don't see any legs on this one, this model. So here's the back with all the ports. Disc B, printer, Power supply, expansion port, RS-232 MIDI, AUX, RGB, TV, and tape sound. Sides got some joystick ports and a reset button. And this side just has some screws. So it looks really clean. Set this back here. See what else is in the box. Big brick power supply. This one's got some good weight to it. Hold it right side up. And your typical looks like a, probably TV cable. And a nice big thick hook. Let's see if I can get it out of there. Nice big thick user manual. Plenty of stuff to read. And that's it. So that's what came with this system. Again, the uh, St. Clair ZX Spectrum Plus 3. Looks beautiful. My first one that has something else other than I have to load it in with cassettes. Which I haven't had too great a luck with yet, but I do have a new cassette drive on the way. Hopefully that works. But I look forward to getting this one started for the first time. And I'll do a, another video on doing just that. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Living vicariously through me buying stuff, spending my money, but enjoying it. I'm having a great time with the Sinclair uh, platform. And thanks for watching. Take it easy, guys. Hello, everyone. TJ here again. So I just did my unboxing a few minutes ago in the kitchen table. Now I've got my ZX 128K Spectrum Plus 3 set up with my HP Omni monitor, 32 inch. 
connected up my joystick. I have the uh, Tetris floppy. Kind of had everything already connected up. I don't know if it's in the camera, probably not, but I've got my transformer, uh, 110, the 220 volt up transformer, already powered up, connected up. So I just need to turn it on and see what happens. So I'm not going to insert the floppy yet. It looks like there's a side A and B. I'm guessing they're the same thing on there, but A seems like the logical one that you would load in first. So I'll set that aside. And I'm going to go ahead and power it on and let's see what happens. I've got it connected up, by the way, to my SCART HDMI adapter that I showed in a past video. So power up. Good so far. I've gotten some uh, video. Normally this uh, SCART, let me see if I can move the camera around here. So it's more on the uh, TV now. So give me a minute here to kind of focus in. Actually, maybe I'll show it to where you can see both the computer and the monitor. That'll work, because I'm going to be sticking in that floppy. There we go. That should work. Cool. Let me swimmy around here. So as you can see, a 1982-1986-87 Amstrad. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the return key just to see if it does anything. Nope, I guess it just stays on that screen. I'm going to go ahead and restart it here. There we go. I don't think that's... Maybe that showed up last time and I just didn't pay attention. But <clears throat> it looks like I can switch between loader, plus three basic... Calculator and 48K basic. I'll just go ahead and load up plus three basic for now. Just to. Whoop, getting the. I, sh I guess I shouldn't have did that, huh? Exit. There we go. Let's go back down here. Plus three basic. Print. Or P. R I N T. Heh. <laughs> Point. There you go. Good spelling. So, honestly, that's working. I'm going to go ahead and just reset, because my goal is to try to play a game. But I just wanted to make sure it's kind of quickly working. And the cool thing is that uh, video looks wonderful. Uh, through the SCART to, to HDMI connector, it looks really nice. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to hit uh, Loader. So I'm going to hit Enter. And I guess what I do now is I'm going to go ahead and insert the floppy. So insert tape. In this case, it's going to be the floppy, and I'm on side A here. So I've inserted that, press play, cancel, break, maybe I'll try that again, maybe I had to have the floppy in first, yeah, lights are whirring, you can hear the floppy, I've got external speakers connected to this by the way, good sign so far, it's loading up Tetris, connected up the uh, Sinclair joystick here. So maybe we'll try to play a quick game. Much faster than a cassette. Sounds coming out. That really scrolls damn fast. How can anybody read that? But I kind of read the little manual here. I need to go to O for options. And you can hear the phone in the background. It's alright. And I'm going to go hit I for Sinclair, and then spacebar to play. Uh, how about really bad, just one? So, so far so good. Joystick seems to be working. Game seems to be working.
been a while since I played Tetris. I don't remember if you hit something to change the shape of it. I guess I'll have to read more. Plus three, booted for the first time. My first time using a three inch floppy on a Spectrum. Very cool. Thanks for watching, everyone.